GCSE Art and Design is the best course that you can do. It's for anybody who wants to learn new skills, anybody who wants to be creative, anyone who wants to experiment and to take risks, and anyone who wants to be imaginative, work independently, and create great work that they're truly proud of. It doesn't matter how good you are at the moment, we can get you better. 60% of the course is all done in class and is your coursework. 40% is your exam. The good news is you get the exam project months before you take it so we can spend a long time working up the ideas and making sure you're really ready by the time the exam day comes round. Assessment at GCSE is really easy. You have four assessment objectives to meet. Develop, refine, record and present. Basically, we have an idea, we look at the work of other artists, we refine that idea, we show some technical skill and we make an outcome, whether it's a painting, a sculpture, a film, textiles or a set of prints. The range of materials you can use in art is very broad. Throughout the course, you will have the opportunity to engage in personal interests within your work, go on art trips to different galleries in London and attend an informal art catch-up club after school. In Year 10, you will have two teacher-led projects, Movement and Protest. In Movement, this is largely a painting project looking at the figure and the portrait. During this project, you will learn lots of different experimental painting techniques and learn how to mix skin tones and eventually create a final piece um, on the figure. Here are some paintings for our Movement final pieces over the last few years. The protest project is more issue based where you will choose your own issue to investigate and develop and then looking at the work of Grayson Perry you will create a coil pot and decorate this with symbols and images relating to your issue. Here are some pots that have been created by students in previous years. Year 11 is all about you. It's all about having your own independent ideas. We will give you a title or a theme for a project and then you will put your own interests into that theme and develop your ideas from there. Here is a student, a current student in year 11 who can tell you a little bit more about this. Uh, for our independent project, we were given a title, past, present and future, and we were told to do three strands. I decided to do mine on technology, genetics and architecture, and in the end I developed genetics into my final strand, which would be race. Um, I tried to explore different parts of race, so segregation, uh, protests, riots that have been happening over the past couple of months and the past couple of years and I thought that that would be a good thing to base my artwork upon. So one of the first artists that I looked at when I went into my independent project was Cara Walker who looks as at social and racist issues when it comes to race and she very greatly delved into things that had to do with race. I was inspired by her to do a silhouette to, of my mom, which was similar to hers, which also led to my five hour piece, um, which is a silhouette of my mom that includes um, slavery images, um, places where we're from, things that included um, the transatlantic uh, slave trade. And I thought that these little bits that have been taken out of my mom would be interesting to do because they are a part of her. And I thought that that would be a good idea to sort of look into when doing this piece. Studying art gives you a really good start in education and in your career. The UK creative industries and the creative economy, of which the art is the main feature, is one of the biggest employers and one of the biggest growth sectors in the UK for the last 10 years. Studying art is a fantastic step towards an exciting future. Did you know the man who designed the iPad and the iPhone studied art at university? Many video game designers studied art, as did filmmakers, visual artists, hair and makeup artists, fashion designers, photographers, people who work in a million different industries all got their start studying art at GCSE.